Hello! Thank you so much for coming to this video today. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a great video. We're going to be talking about the first contract ever ran on Cardano. Get rid of the FUD. It's gone. The first contract has been ran on the Alonzo Blue Test Net. We're going to be going into those details later in this video. We also have another African deal. Another million users being brought on top of the Cardano blockchain from John O'Connor. We're going to be looking at that update in just a second. I'm so, so excited about that. Also, the third thing we're going to be talking about in this video is Cardano is going mainstream. Why? Find out later in this video. But if you guys do enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. You commented down below, click the notification bell and click all. It has been 10 days since I've uploaded any video. That is the longest I've ever gone without uploading a video on YouTube. It was just a storm of events happened. I went to the BTC conference, had to meet up with some BTC maxis down there. And then my mom flew into town and you guys, you guys know I have to spend some time with my mother. You know, she comes first, but I'll never do 10 days away from you again. So I'm really sorry. I'm happy to be back though. Uh, this week is going to be a big week. A video today, obviously, and then a video tomorrow. That's going to be the Monday AMA at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Video Wednesday, video Friday. We're picking back up. A lot of videos, so please, please tune into all of them. You staying here and watching these entire videos, you know, helps me and my channel and helps push these videos out to the wider cryptocurrency community for people that aren't educated on Cardano because these videos aren't about price. They're about education. So the further we spread these out, the more people that are educated on Cardano. So let's jump into the video today. Um, but before we do that, if you guys want to support my channel, the best way you can do so is by delegating to my Cardano stake pool, Bloom. We have Bloom through Bloom 6, and Bloom actually minted the eighth ever block, minted by stake pools on the Cardano blockchain. So we've been here from the end, from the beginning, and we'll be here till your end. And you also earn Bloom tokens on top of your ADA for staking with Bloom, and you'll be able to claim those from our website after the Alonzo hard fork. So I'm excited. Let's get into the video today. So the first thing I want to talk about today is Cardano's first ever smart contract. Um, and if you've done any dev work, if you've taken any classes, you know, what do you think the first smart contract is? It's Hello World and Plutus. It's just a simple smart contract, you know, written on Cardano uh, to just test, to experiment with the nodes, right? Because you have levels, you know, you have to write the contract and that is taken down and sent to the node. The node processes the transaction and sends it to the rest of the network. Right, so right now on the Alonzo Blue test net, we are in the setup and verification phase. There is a, a test net with some core SBOs and there's less than 50 users or equal to less than or equal to 50 users on the Alonzo Blue test net. And they're just running, making sure the network runs, making sure it's stable. They're fixing some bugs and also running the first ever smart contract on Cardano. But keep in mind, there's a limited functionality right now you can't do everything with Plutus that you will be able to do even just a month from now, but I'm very excited and very happy to see the first contract being run on the Cardano, even though it's just a test net. Um, I'm not the one that thinks, you know, we have to, we have to have this done in August. We have to have it done in August uh, to pump my bags because I look at Cardano, um, you know, long term. You know, in five years from now, 10 years from now, us waiting a couple extra months uh, on Alonzo Blue to work out the kinks will actually be good for us, right? Because the protocol needs to be right when it's released. You know, we can't be fixing bugs afterwards. So if you are, are, are stuck in the short-sighted, Alonzo has to be here in August, it has to be in here in August, let's work out the kinks because we're trying to build a protocol. I mean, not me, you know, I make videos, so... I'll say we, but it's really not me building this. A lot of people, people a lot smarter than me, but we are trying to build a protocol that is supposed to last, you know, generations. So what is a month in 10 years? What is a month in 20 years? What is a month in 50 years? We're building, you know, something that is ought to be the world's leading financial system. So it needs to be done right. It needs to be done meticulous. They're running thousands of simulations. I mean, as you can see here, we have multiple different rollouts of this to test it with more people as we slowly roll out just as they did last year with Shelly. And that's what makes me very confident on this release because I watched everything happen just like clockwork. Same steps. Start with a small team, work out to a greater team with the white and then the Alonzo purple and then the staging and then it's released. This all happened last year with Shelly. So I'm not nervous about IOG's ability to deliver. 
Um, the only thing that you know could happen is it could get delayed. And I'm telling you that if it does get delayed, that is a good thing because that's less bugs for us to deal with once it's released. So there's a little bit of an update on the Alonzo rollout plan, Cardano's smart, first smart contract. But if you guys are excited about this, type in all caps, Cardano's first smart contract down below. But let's go to the next part of the video. I wanted to read this very important tweet for you guys today. And this is from John O'Connor. You know, he's the director of African operations for IOG. You know, he has been on the ground, you know, doing work for Cardano, you know, working full time, speaking with presidents of African countries, um, you know, really just, you know, laying the foundations for Cardano's African mission. You know, he's the one who got the deal for the 5 million users uh, with the Ethiopian deal. So great tweet here from John O'Connor. And it just feels, it honestly just feels unreal, you know, to be able to type this out. Today, I wrote a letter to a president found a million users to bring on Car onto Cardano and had a damn good cup of coffee. And it's only midday. Looking forward to the afternoon and being a part of the input output Hong Kong gang. So IOG's gang. I mean, he's truly an inspiration. Sweta, Sweta said it here best. Shweta said it here best. And I mean, it's just nuts. Another million users, you know, being brought on top of the Cardano blockchain. This is all the information that we have this far it's from this tweet. I actually asked a few people at IOG in a Twitter space. I said, uh, so John Connor said this, uh, can John O'Connor said this, can you guys release any more details about it? And they all looked at me like, uh, and they didn't say anything, but this is the first little bit of news of, of the next Africa deal that's coming. Another million users being brought on Cardano. Um, and you guys probably heard the El Salvador news with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is, you know, legal tender in El Salvador. And I'm, I'm very happy for the Bitcoin community. It was a great step for cryptocurrency as a whole. You know, I mean, that's exactly what Cardano is trying to do. If you watched, uh, you know, Charles's TED Talks back in 2016, and even earlier than that, he talked about banking the unbanked, you know, uh, he talked about remittance fees. He talked about people being able to transfer, you know, money across the world and how high, high percentage of that goes to the people facilitating the transactions. And that is a big issue um, that Cardano wants to fix, you know, and that is exactly what they're doing there. I don't have 100% of the details. I don't know how much the guy's making that did it, you know, the, the middleman essentially, but B BTC being legal tender in El Salvador is huge news for us all. And um, who do you think has the advantage in Africa, right? This is just setting off, you know, this hyper, you know, cryptoization of the world, really. I mean, when it rains, it pours. This is just the first country. There will be a second, there will be a third, there will be a 10th. But who has the advantage in Africa? Who has been there for years? Who has building up, been building up relationships with presidents, with you know, prime ministers, with all of the you know, big leaders in Africa who has been there for years? Who already has a deal with an African country to onboard 5 million users using a, the identity management system that IOG is working on? It's Cardano, right? I hope you guys, no financial advice here, but do you see what I see? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty unbelievable. I mean, the price is down, BTC is down, but am I worried at all? No. I mean, we are just watching this all happen before our eyes and it's, it's beautiful. It really is. I never thought that we would be here in 2021 and it's, it's happening so soon. You know, it's the silver lining of COVID really. Um, but it's incredible. So, you know, shout out to John O'Connor, shout out to everybody at IOG. You guys are doing great work and you're inspiring us all. So thank you guys. So this is pretty big news. And this is, you know, the Cardano is going mainstream segment of this video. I've been trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter. You know, these are my weekly recaps. So if you guys do like the shorter videos, please comment shorter down below. And what I mean by shorter is 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I know that's long for some people, but that's short for me. You know, I, I used to do 30 minute weekly recaps where I would just ramble. So trying to keep them shorter, but Lex Friedman, you know, he's one of my favorite podcasters. You know, I felt like, you know, Joe Rogan was never technical enough for me, but I always enjoyed his podcast because he would have technical people on. Whereas Lex Friedman takes all of the good from Joe Rogan and adds a bunch more, you know, tech into it, a technical aspect. And, you know, I've always, I used to tell, um, I used to tell, you know, people that I knew that I just cannot wait for one day that Charles is on Lex Friedman. 
you know, for Lex to finally be crypto pilled and for, you know, it to go mainstream. And I don't just mean for the price. I just mean, you know, to have a, a better intellectual discussion with, you know, with people about cryptocurrency, because if no one knows about it, then, you know, how can we talk about how it ought to be? You know, what should crypto be? When no one knows about it, we can't talk, we can't have these discussions. And I feel like Lex Friedman, this is sig signaling Cardano going mainstream, right? He's gonna come on there, it's gonna get 300, 400,000 views, and it's just, just gonna continue this steady growth, right? I'm not talking about price, I'm just talking about people that actually know about Cardano and know what's happening underneath. Because he mentioned that this podcast was five hours long. So it's not going to be a, a, an intro, oh, Cardano is going to make you a bunch of money or Cardano is going to do X, Y, and Z. It is Cardano at its core. So I'm damn excited for this podcast. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys are excited for it, um, make sure you comment down below. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick little catch up video. I've been really busy. I'm sorry for not posting. I will be posting more. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you made it till the end, um, type in your hype for Lex Friedman. Or if you like the shorter videos, do shorter. But yeah, that's the weekly recap for this week. I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I have a feeling there's a lot of news going to be coming out soon. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. It's Sunday and a great next week. It's going to be a good week. Lex Friedman. Hype. Hype, hype, hype. Love you guys. See ya.